and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kindred Snapvine as our next meme tier Monday deck. Always fun to play a Kindred deck and this is a pretty unique Kindred deck that we had submitted by a viewer where it's going to be uh, having overgrown Snapvine really help enable the Kindred. So Kindred of course says the first time you slay a unit each round we mark the weakest enemy. Now we aren't really playing very much removal but we do have ways to slay uh, units because we can slay our own units and that's by having this overgrown snap find in play because once we have this in play then whenever we summon a follower you kill that follower and then you turn it into an overgrown snap find so that is slaying your own unit i believe i think that's how that should work because you know you're you're killing it and so hope so as long as that works like it does you know i haven't exactly played this yet but as long as that works as intended and then we have kindred in play we have snap find in play we play any other follower and then we get to mark the weakest enemy. So we could be marking enemies quite a bit with these overgrown snap vines. And we have some like really cheap, easy things to play, right? We're, like we're gonna be playing pesky specters, zero mana. So on that same round, round seven, whenever we play the snap vine, we can immediately play pesky specter, make a new snap vine. Um, and then, but we have other cheap ones like, you know, wings in the wave can be two snap vines for one mana. Same with hapless aristocrat, two snap vines for one mana because of that last breath. Two snap vines or two mana with fading icon or highway man. So yeah, that's kind of what our deck's gonna do. Is like we're just gonna try to get kindred in play, then snap vine, and then make a whole bunch of snap vines. We'll have stalking shadows for some card advantage to help find overgrown snap vines. Same with glimpse beyond, and uh, fading memories can can do some stuff. So yeah, that's that's kind of all the deck is. You know, it's meme tier. It's gonna be fun. Let's try out kindred snap vine. Here we go. Yeah, it could be an Aurelia deck. I, I've seen people play, um, I've seen, I've seen people play like Aurelia instead of Elise in these kind of decks. Because then you Blade Dance and then you make two Snap Binds. They, they aren't attacking anymore, like your Blades, but you just get, you know, two Snap Binds. I guess I'm just going to, I don't know, like, are Fading Memories good? I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep Highwayman Faithful. See what else we got. When you have Snapvine, you can only fading Snapvine or opponent follower. That's true. That's true. You're only fading memories of your opponent's followers. Yeah, so I don't... And so the question is, is fading memories worth it? I don't... I probably don't think so. I think maybe, like, having, like, Vile Feast instead could be kind of nice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play the Pesky Spectre right here just to save three life. Like, that's a big deal in this kind of matchup, saving three life. It's like a Vile Feast is another card that you can play like on round seven, play Snap Bind, and then use Spell Mana Vile Feast to get, get another Snap Bind. Or you can respond to a removal spell with that. My friend and I are collectors. You won't get past me. Hey, you the best. How are the decks doing? Pretty good so far. A 5-0 and a 2-3. It's just meme tier day. We're just playing crazy stuff, so yeah, winning record. Happy about that. Fortune favors the bold. Well, misfortune makes fading icon much worse. Hello. 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 Makes kind of everything much worse. Uh, I guess I have no reason. Question was why no attack, and I guess I have no reason. I guess it could have attack. Everything's in place. They would have had just like this thing to block. You're strange. Just looking out for the public. Love ya. If I'm them, I'm not attacking with misfortune there. I think you can attack with the others. I still don't think that misfortune attack was too necessary, but. We don't know. They could have another misfortune in hand, so they just don't mind that one dying. Remember the objective. I will find someone. Routes closed. Uh, 
Alright, it's only two out of five. Does kind of make me wish... That's kind of makes me wish that I didn't use that Black Spear, and then kept it, and then this thing dies, and then I Black Spear. And then Mark. Yeah, I probably should have saved that Black Spear. Yep, I should have saved the Black Spear. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Kindred too small. Keep up, keep up. Off we go. Came a long way for a bullet. Yeah, Fervor is very likely. I hope not. Uh, it does kind of seem like maybe not because they're being so passive about this, so maybe no Fervor. Tell me a story, Lamb. Once there was a star that crashed down to Earth. Did it crush anyone? It tried to, dear wolf, but it met its hmm. match. What happened to it? The star was returned, and from it, a man was reborn. Okay. Well, Pirate Aggro is a super good deck. Let him out. It's no shame losing this. Hours. But I sh I should have saved I should have saved the black spear. So I should have done. This is the biggest worry though that I had with the deck of when you when you only play followers, you can do some blocking and stuff, but. You kind of need removal spells sometimes. So like our opponent plays that gangplank on five, and that's you know that was like the difference in the game. If they they don't have the gangplank, we have a chance. But with them playing the gangplank, that card just um, you know just kind of kills us because we can't kill anything. But I want to you know this is a viewer submitted list. I'm playing the exact list. I want to I want to play the exact list. I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to keep this Fading Memories, actually. I feel like they're going to be playing Merciless Hunter. And I can Fading Memories of Merciless Hunter. The Blighted Caretaker is just an absolutely amazing draw. But yeah, they're a fearsome deck. Because I can Caretaker and take out, like, Mistwraith. Arachnoid horror. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. Well, it was fresh. Everyone's a garden. Being they would have gone like Merciless Hunter there, you know, put it down to one health with this withering wheel. Seed Skitter. See, the thing is... Uh, I want to Fading Memories this Blighted Caretaker, but I don't want them to know about it. I guess they're just going to know about it. I, I, can, I can take three. We can take three. Never mind. It's just three damage. Okay. Uh, now it's a little bit more than three. Take four, gain four. Still all fine. Haunted Relic. They're gonna play Callista now. No, 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 no. Oh, no. 
I was playing. I tried to play the Withering Whale. I just clicked the wrong card, and then I was just gonna play the Withering Whale and not let this Callista level up. That's really, what I was about to do. It's definitely what I was going to, do, going to do right there. So these are all going to be fearsome. And I can't block. And it's going to be 18 damage. It's going to be 18 fearsome damage that I can't block. So, so my best play is this. That makes it uh, 15 fearsome damage I can't block. Down to two. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Because this, this will kill the 3-2. Because it's going to do one damage to the 3-2, and it'll do one damage to the Callista, but the Callista damage go, heads on over to the 3-2. So, put it, you know, so that heals us for six instead of just that. Okay. So now the Callista is going to. So now, like this is this is the thing. Like this is their combo. See, I I really wish I would have cast that Withering Whale first, not let them level with Callista. So now the Callista puts in that Raz and gives us the minus two on everything. Yeah. This is over. Well, I mean, we gotta kill our overgrown snap vine. No, oh, they have that. So, I'll show y'all this combo. But yeah, I I can't believe I just played the wrong card. Just, I just clicked on the wrong card. Yeah, cool combo, cool combo. Again, we see the lack of removal. You know, we can't kill a Callista. I think I think it's the fading memories. I think the fading memories could be removal spells. I think that's like the worst card in the deck. All right, we're playing Twin Disciplines. It's the best card. <clears throat> it's you know basically a removal spell. You can use it with the plus three. Either way, like the plus three power, plus three hell. Twin Disciplines is just going to be the best card. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Hey, Flexim. I'm doing good. How are you doing? So I'm thinking that, you know, like, Elise on two attack could have Blighted Caretaker for round four. Fight. Like, the Stalking Shadow is round three. Good blocker. Whoa, a Crimson Disciple deck. Hope they don't have Ice Shard. Taking this wings in the wave, it can be a way to um, with Kindred Slay our own units. Draw twin disciplines. 
I'll protect Kindred. Okay, that's not a bad card. That will protect Kindred. I could just recast a new Kindred. Yeah, I guess maybe just recasting a new Kindred was just the better thing to do. Suppose it was. Suppose it was. Next round, round seven. I pull the strings. I kind of agree with y'all that I don't. I'm not a big fan of Elise much. And I agree with y'all that we could, like, the Snap Find Kindred stuff pretty powerful, and a lot of these Shadow Owls cards pretty powerful, but I think that this would this would be a difficult deck to, to build that you need to, like, have a good amount of practice w in, practice with. But I think that, yeah, having a different champion and having, uh, having different interaction and things like that, like, I think this, I think this could be a real deck. You know, it's just like Viego Kindred. Right? Like, you could just play those two together. Every, like, mist turns into a snap line. Like, a permanent snap line. Encroaching mist. Withering Will could be nice. Glad we haven't seen a champion. But yeah, Zed, Zed could work. Zed, talked about Aurelia could work. Snap finds are cool. Yes, I'm planning on doing another uh, stream with Boot maybe tonight. Possibly tonight. But definitely this week we'll do it a couple more times. Yeah, maybe tonight. Alright, GG's. Zillion Echo. All right, zillion echo it is. Honestly, I like this hand, right? Like we don't have a whole lot of spells. All these spells are really useful. The black spears uh, can do good at killing both champions. Um, Twin disciplines is just amazing. Glimpse beyond will help get us new cards. And then, so I, I figured with keeping all these spells, we'll draw into our units, right? Because like our whole deck is basically units, so shouldn't have any trouble. Drawing units. They draw lots of cards. So giving them pesky specters is kind of cool. They're going to draw lots of cards anyway. We'll have them draw those pesky specters. Zillion's always a difficult one because you want to kill the Zillion, but if you do, if they have more Zillions, they want the Zillion to die also. It's a it's a tricky one. But you don't want Zillion to level up, right? Because if Zillion levels up, it's incredibly powerful. So it's... Yeah, it's a tricky one. These are my streets. Yeah, kind of like Twisted Fate, but just even more pronounced. But it's, yeah, it's the... The whole darn if you do, darn if you don't kind of thing. Hexite Crystal. is something else. Alright, let's take a snap fine. 
want to make sure we find snap vine. These disciplines will be able to protect kindred, which is cool. Which is cool. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Yeah, Zillion Echo. I like the deck too. Whenever we played on stream, we didn't do well with it the last time, even though I really like the list. But every time I play against it, they always have so many of their champions, and their deck looks so good. <laughs> and that's just kind of how it is. And they always get the Hexite Crystals really fast. Like, it always looks amazing with my opponent playing it. Playing it. But even like a card like Xenotype Researchers, I didn't, I didn't find room for. Because I just want the champions and predicts. You have to get me out of here! Oh, correct, yes. Zillion Echo has very, uh, very big weaknesses, like, with, with the large units. When I've been playing against it, I've been playing decks with small units, and so it's destroyed me, like, with the Hexite Crystals and stuff. Embrace life. Expect death. This card is just so much better than Fading Memories. <laughs> you know, like, it's just... Or it's kind of too good. All right, we want a way to slay our own units, which we do not have in hand right now. Now with stuff dying, that will enable Black Spear. Excuse us. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think they're blocking the kindred. Well, okay. It's hard, it's fast now. It knows. It knows. I'm not playing any units this round. Oh, no, 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 I gotta do the Twin Disciplines first because they play another Time Bomb, then I, I can't respond. Oh. Pass, 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 pass. At least it wasn't, wasn't a Time Bomb. That was almost bad. Living on the edge. <laughs> Oh, Echo's a, a wonderful payoff for the predict stuff. Level up Echo with Chrono Breaks. Like, Chrono Break is unreal. It's like, yeah, like, it it has payoffs. It's just stopping... It just... These two regions... The, de the defensive tools at stopping large units in these two regions are very poor. That's the problem with the deck. The, the payoffs isn't a problem. You got... They... There's an abundance of payoffs with, you know, Fallen Feline and with... Kahiris and and echoes and all sorts of there. The payoffs are real, but how do you how do you stop large units, especially large units with spell shield, Blech. like Ruin Runner? So these regions don't have good tools at doing that. So they can get a free predict, blocking with Echo, and it could hit Chrono Break. If it hits Chrono Break, they probably win. Just gotta really hope it doesn't hit Chrono Break. Work. 
I guess I have no incentive. Like, I don't have to play this Black Spear right now. It is. Okay, so at least... It only gets those three, right? Because we didn't kill the Echo first. So that's good. Now we can kill Echo. Perfect. We needed Echo to not be brought back by Chrono Break. This game has... It's really because, like, the, the Twin Disciplines made such a huge difference in this game, right? Made, made them use many more spells, killing the Kindred. Those have really Things been important. No, come on, another one of those? Good thing I, I top tech this glimpse beyond at least. Uh well, I guess we'll just play two of you. Cause I can block sacrifice so they don't get the predict. Eight eight sub Percival? Wow. That's a that's a card right there. That is a card right there. I guess I'm dead. Yeah, just yeah, rally with this eight eight submersible. Yeah, I mean I guess that's that's a good win con an eight eight elusive sub submersible. I was thinking Chrono Break and so I didn't want to kill all of their stuff, or like I didn't want to block everything because of because of Chrono Break, but yeah, I guess Chrono Break just kills me anyway. Alright, Talia auction. Let's keep Kindred. Try again. We have to go through a lot more hoops to get our one mana 3 3 than they probably have to. There's nothing to fear. Look at us being all aggro. Look at us being all aggro. I don't want to play Fading Icon, then they play like Merciless Hunter. Or yeah, even like that Rock Hoppa. I guess that's why Elise is unplayable, right? Like, <laughs> Merciless Hunter. I guess that's why nobody plays Elise anymore. Look upon me. So we're gonna wait on Kindred a little bit. Could have played Kindred last round and then had the glimpse, you know, like this round and then had Glimpse Beyond available. But I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I taste purple. Yay. They forgot. You, you cannot. I don't want my Kindred just dying to another Merciless Hunter. I'm gonna be playing it probably this round. Yeah, like playing it and Socking Shadows this round, but you know, waited just a little bit for it. I just all out attacked last round. I guess Caretaker. The Hapless Aristocrat's the better card with Snapvine, Caretaker is the better card with Kindred. What's that, Lance? 
Basically not attacking with Kindred because of Hush. You know, it has the quick attack, but or just, you know, like they can use different pump spells and stuff. Alright, so we got a mark in. And I need to clear the board anyway, like for Snap Fine, right? Like we need to clear a board. My best draw is like deny or twin disciplines, you know, something to help protect Kindred. My best draw right now. That's too bad. I'll be for next round. There you are. Swipe it off. Easy blocks. It's actually working out with Kindred here. Still want to draw twin disciplines, but all right. Look at that, Kindred. Everyone, dear Might as well play this. Spirit Leech to draw a couple of cards. If I attack with all these snap vines, they can kill three of them. But it does kind of wipe out their board. <laughs> Fessy Spectre. Just don't know if they're going to have Hush. I hope not, but if they do have Hush, they're going to be able to kill... Like, they can kill the Kindred next round anyway with the... Uh, Phonerable and stuff. Okay, got rid of all the snap lines. That's impressive. Six. I know what lurks in the shadows. She may have caught a glimpse. But more soon. I kind of just really want to draw two right now. Obliterate the weakest enemy. Wow. 
So they could have done both of those absolvers and put me down to two. So it'll still be marked next round. Wow, that was a really fast choice. They found the card they wanted. Oh, it's not marked next round. Interesting. Talia was the card they took. All right, that'll do. So I, I did it like this, so like even if they played a blocker, you know, like we'd have like the two challengers. This kindred was lethal. We had the that kept like our kindred champion spells to protect kindred as well. Okay, yeah, we got kindred level up. Kindred eating some stuff. Kindred doing some stuff. So I think there's like some good stuff here. I think Snapvine and Kindred do go well together, and just like all these Shadow Owls cards of like. The hapless aristocrat, wings in the wave, fading icon. I think those, like that whole package, goes well together. Um, our we only had one blighted caretaker in here, and this thing was an all star. And Tasty Faithful was very good as well. Um, wasn't Pesky Spectre, not not so much, but um, you yeah, know those things were awesome. So I could definitely see you know kind of going with that, and then trying to just kind of change the support cards around those. Spirit Leech is probably pretty good. Um, you know, like your highway man. I like we're we're really going all in on the snap vine, but probably playing aristocrat wings in the way fading icon is probably enough. You could have like cursed keeper. Like you could probably go like you know cursed keeper caretaker. <clears throat> cursed keeper probably better than highway man. I don't know highway man blocks right away, but you know cursed keeper is also two units for snap vine and then helps. I guess it doesn't really help Wings in the Wave that much more, but it helps Caretaker. I don't know. So there's you you can you can make some changes here, right? Like you can you can um, kind of fool around with it and kind of change the cards on the periphery and maybe upgrade. But I think that there's some power there with Kindred Snap Find. Make sure you can protect your Kindred. Shadow Oz has all the card draw. I think there's some good stuff here. And you don't have to use Ionia for the other region, as you see here. Like Ionia, there's basically hardly any Ionia cards. Um, so, you know, you can play Aurelia if you want for, like, an, another different champion. Um, but you can also just play any other region if you have a different region in mind that can protect Kindred better. You could even go Shirima with this and not play another champion and maybe just play Kindred. And then you can play, you know, like the zero mana sacrifice to draw Kindred that also, you know, kills, you know, that also slays for Kindred. You Like, maybe you kind of do that and, and, like, make it kind of like a Thresh Nasus style deck. But kind of have like Overgrown Snapbind be your Nasus, Kindred as your only champions, you draw it um, more, and uh, you know, kind of have like some of this, some more like hapless aristocrats than normal, and you know, like some more kind of sacrifice stuff like that than, than like a Thresh Nasus deck. But I could see that working out fairly well also. But whatever you do, just make sure you can, um, you know, protect your Kindred. You're going to want to do that. Lifesteal Barriers could be pretty cool in here. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be an easy deck to build and not going to be an easy one to tune. It'll take some time, but I think that there is a real competitive deck with Kindred and Snapvine. I do. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Kindred Snapvines. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know if you got good ideas. How do we build around Kindred and Snapvine? What do you what do y'all think? Do we stick, stick with Ionia? Do we go to Shirima? You got any other region? What are you doing? What's the other champion or no champion? Yeah, let us know there uh, over on YouTube. Love to hear it. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.